name is Lauren Mendelson Bass, and we're here at Soka University with my show, Sugar Coated. It was originally supposed to take place in 2020 and was postponed three years because of the pandemic. Back in 2020, I prepared for the show being one floor, and now the show is two floors because during the pandemic, I spent a lot of time painting and working through all the issues that came with being isolated and just trying to make sense of where the world was at that time and currently is. I started painting a lot during COVID and that brought me to my sugar-coated series. My favorite quotes is by Edward Hopper. He once said, if you could say it in words, there'd be no reason to paint. So my painting are my words, my vocabulary, through which I express myself. I started the series of 36 by 18 inch paintings during the pandemic and each painting expresses an emotion I was dealing with through isolation, hopelessness, hope, fear, and just where we're going as a country. I use pop imagery. I like to juxtapose classic iconography with today's pop culture and that way it draws people in to the painting. If we reference back to the happy housewife of the 50s, to the current day influencer in social media, there's always been a false reality created through the media, through advertising, and, and now through um, individuals with social media, that things aren't really as they appear, that we could appear happy on the outside or fulfilled or, or whatever reality we want to create. And we show that reality to other people, and uh, often that's the reality we believe. But if you take a closer look, it's not always reality. You're drawn into this giant candy, giant lifesavers, sugary cereal, whatever it may be. And then I'd like to play around with text. We're here at the Upstairs Gallery at Soka University, the Founders Hall Gallery, and uh, a lot of my paintings in the Upstairs Gallery are based on childhood games and fairy tales. Again, that sense of nostalgia is what I use to draw people in to look at my paintings and then stay there and take a closer look. So I'm here in front of Shoots and Ladders, one of the first board games we play as a kid when we're just learning our numbers. And uh, I've always loved board games, just the way they look. I love the bright colors and, uh, you know, the excitement of playing a game. I started the Shoots and Ladders just to play around with the board game and, you know, the different numbers and stories behind it. And I love that idea of climbing up a ladder, being knocked down, and climbing back up. So I started with the bottom piece, and I was kind of showing this, like, you know, that constant idea of moving forward in life, moving upward, but yet getting knocked down and moving back up.
second floor at Founders Hall Gallery at Sophie University. And one of the themes I play with is fairy tales. They're the first stories we learn, we learn as children. I chose fairy tales because I like the darkness behind them. I like that uh, happiness that brings you in, but then there's, there's always a darkness behind it. And I want to explore what comes after the happily ever after, or how people create their own happily ever after, and what that is to you. It's different for everyone, and it's not necessarily what the fairy tale tells us it's gonna be.